So one particular New Year's Eve, Tanya and Ferdy both found themselves with nothing to do. So Zubi on his own dragged Ferdy, and me on my own dragged Tanya, and both of them came dragging and kicking and screaming like, "What are we going to do over there?" And that's when they hit it off. We didn't dance. We didn't. We weren't a part of the party. We weren't doing any of that. We were just sitting and chatting. The two of us, non-stop. Then when I came to Hyderabad, we started making some plans, and we've got lots of common friends. Every day there was a plan. I was here on holiday. I was doing nothing in Hyderabad. So every single day we hung out, and I don't know, <laughs> it just happened. After hanging out with him a couple of times, I was extremely, extremely fond of him, and I've gone with my parents to Amritsar, and I picked up a kada for him, like the one that I wear. And um, I mean, I barely knew him then. You know, I know he's a Parsi. I'm like, I, I don't think he's going to wear a kada, but I just got it for him. And since then, he's not removed it. So first, he takes me to Delhi. Saying we're going there <laughs> for a holiday, and uh, I was like, okay, yay, we're going to Delhi for a holiday. <laughs> we were all hand in glove. Tanya had no idea. She had an inkling because we are very bad at keeping secrets. So something, someone would say something, and my mum would giggle, 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 and go out of the room. So Tanya knew that there was something going on, but she wasn't really sure what. We spent a night there. The next morning, he's like, we needed to rush back to Hyderabad because I had to operate a flight. And then he takes me to the airport. And he goes to the international counter, and I'm just looking at him, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> you know. And some quietly they're filming. Okay, Tanya's reaction. I mean, great flourish. He gives her his the boarding passes. Tanya takes the boarding passes, puts them in a bag. <laughs> With no reaction. Everybody's waiting to see her reaction because what Fadi thought was she'd take the boarding pass, she'd look at it and go, "Bags!" But no, she took the boarding passes and put it in a bag. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is love, young horse. When you kiss me, heaven sighs, and though I close my eyes, I see love, young horse. Landed up in Paris, but she had no idea about the proposal yet. You wanted to do it in the the gardens next to the Eiffel Tower. So, but he was like, "Come on, come on, hurry up! Let's go to the Eiffel Tower. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower." And Tanya was like, "I said we are not going for a meeting. <laughs> we are going to see the Eiffel Tower. Even if we go five hours later, it's still going to be there." And uh, they're strolling uh, in the gardens, and it starts twinkling. And there's this uh, guy playing "Love You and Rose," and I'm like, "Hey, he's playing your song." And they look at him, and they like, like make eyes at each other. And the body's like, I don't know. And like, like, oh my god, he's such a weirdo. Like suddenly, he's standing in the middle of the gardens, it's completely dark, and he's playing the violin. And uh, yeah, the tar lit up, and I was down on my knees. I just couldn't stop for the oh my god, oh my god! And then he opens this box with a beautiful light and the ring. And then I turn around before I can say anything. Some guy lying down in the grass, okay, that they couldn't even see, turns around and starts taking pictures. <laughs> in a way, I know my heart is waking up as all the walls come crashing. So here I am, down on my knees, asking her to spend the rest of her life with me, and her reaction is, "You didn't let me wash my hair <laughs> because of the picture." <laughs> I'm like, what? The violin guy stops playing. He's like, buddy, was that a yes? He's like, dude, she took the ring.
can feel the magic floating in the air Being with you gets me there 